The Teaching and Learning International Survey, or TALIS, is a large-scale international survey investigating the conditions of teaching and learning environments across schools in participating organizational for economic cooperation and development countries. The TALIS report is a very encouraging report in view of the fact also that we were the only African country that participated in that international studies and it really indicates or gives us very positive indications to one of the most important, important players in the system. The system is highly reliant on teachers. Teachers are a make or break of the system. To see them really using innovation, being positive about their work and being able to confront the classroom diversity because we really have, as a country, have a difficult history, have a difficult landscape and environment under which we work, uh, which brings baggage with it, which has racial tensions in some instances, but also lots of inequality and evenness. And to begin to see our teachers again being able and very positive about those challenges and being able to confront them. And more important, embracing technology, which is really what we as a country have to make sure that our children are not left behind, that whilst we are confronting our problems, but they are able to move forward with the world and they can be global citizens of the future. So it's really encouraging to see the professionalism, the positive attitude of our teachers, the ability to embrace uh, technology and being able to step up to international demands. And I'm told they participated in big numbers, which is also very positive that they are willing to open themselves up, to be accountable, but to, 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 to cooperate with any other player uh, that is in that space. So it's very encouraging and heartwarming. I'm Dr. Mark Chetty, the National Project Manager for TELUS. TELUS is an international study. It focuses on teaching and learning. It's, it focuses primarily on teachers and principals from secondary schools, which are grade eight and nine. We are the first participants from Africa in this study, and it's the first time that South Africa is participating in this large-scale study of teaching and learning. My name is Dilla Rose Bassa, and I was appointed as the International Quality Observer for the TALUS Project. The TALUS Project is really the first time that we have participated in it where we were canvassing uh, the views of teachers and of principals with regard to education issues, teaching in the schools and the, the learning terrain, the teaching and learning terrain generally. I was involved in going to schools and monitoring the um, progress of the TALIS survey. Um, it was independently done uh, I did not report to the Department of Education, but I reported directly to the um, uh, coordinators in Amsterdam. It would not have been influenced by any official of the Department of Education. They wanted it to be completely independent. My name is Dix Matebe, an administrative manager for TALIS in the Department of Basic Education. My involvement with the TALIS was to adapt the national framework for TALIS to oversee the administration to train the provincial education department officials as well as to ensure that all the TALIS materials are printed and distributed to all the provinces and to ensure that they reach the sampled schools. My name is Jerry Chigororo, the National Data Manager for South Africa. My responsibility as a data manager was to sample our school and data processing. We had sampled 200 schools nationally in the country and of each school 20 teachers were supposed to sam be sampled but where we had less teachers we took all the teachers on the teacher listing forms. Then we are then given go ahead to start the process of data, sam uh, data analysis and report writing on our data. What excited me the most was to see how teachers and principals were when they were taking the survey. 
what they told me when I was monitoring the schools is that they, they've learned quite a few lessons from the questions that they were answering in the survey itself. We have such a diversity of schools in this country. It's quite amazing. In some schools, they were absolutely happy about the TALIS survey. They welcomed it and they wanted to know whether it could be extended to all the grades in the school the next time it was done. My name is Peter Prinsloo. I was the TALIS coordinator from Pumalanga in 2018. I would like to see that the resources available, though it's not much in all schools, are utilized effectively. I do think that teachers need to be supported uh, uh, more and more frequently, but we should also support them in terms of what they indicate they need support with. My name is Mohamutsi Mang Koni de Komo. I'm from Northern Cape Department of Education. Uh, I was a TALIS coordinator in 2018. I think as a teacher you, you really need to take it also upon yourself to develop yourself in terms of technology. If we have to succeed in moving to the fourth industrial revolution, it means that teachers must be ready for it. If we have to be able to win the battle around diversity, social cohesion, and teachers must be ready for it. But again, they must be happy, they must be content. And so it's encouraging that some of the interventions that we're making as a country seem to be yielding results, but more important that the role that unions have in terms of working with government, but also supporting their members, make sure that, making sure that their, their rights are well protected because as I say, teachers are just the, the, the key element in the entire system.